hey what is up guys so in the last video we had discussed about what type of ram should you buy and how to get the maximum performance out of it as well as not spending too much on outdated hardware which is really important so today we are going to jump into a couple of games and test out how they perform with different ram memories or mixed frequencies we are also going to see whether upgrading from a 4 gb of ram to 6 gb of ram and lastly to 8 gb makes any performance differences so in the first test we are going to play some games with 2 2 gb sticks of 1330 mhz ddr3 ram secondly with a mix of 1 4 gb 1600 mhz and 1 2 gb 1330 mhz ram and thirdly with both 2 gb sticks of 1600 mhz ram for a total of 8 gb I will not be recording with an in-game software to prevent any FPS loss. Instead, I will be using my phone to record my laptop screen instead. Now in Grand Theft Auto 4, in the previous video, I had mentioned that this game can possibly run on anything with the right resolution. But when it comes to maxing out the graphical settings, we really need some high spec hardware. Now as I have set all the graphical settings to as much slow as it can go, as well as, as I have set the lowest resolution, we can see that the game is alright and playable, but enough for us to understand the story, but not a very good experience. I have played this game almost 8 years ago, and it's still a lot of fun even today. Even on the 8 gigs of RAM, we can see no performance difference, but the time that the game took to load was reduced. Sadly, this laptop won't be able to run the very enjoyable Grand Theft Auto 5, which many people would want, and I have showed it in a past video, and it ran really really poorly. Moving on to the next game is Crisis 3. Now I really wish that my laptop could run the remastered versions of Crisis, but this is what I can in enjoy, and of course it can run Crisis 1 and 2, as well so I might as well run the latest in the series. In here, I also set the graphical settings as slow as possible, as well as the resolution. And the gameplay is stable and playable at around 20 to 30 FPS. But there are some frame drops when there are explosions or enemies popping out in front of you. The loading times for the save games and also starting motion is greatly reduced when I swapped in that for an extra RAM. For all you racing fans out there, I'm sorry but this laptop can't run any kind of Forza Horizon games. So I decided to jump into Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012, which is also a very good modern classic prior to its best known original Need for Speed, Mo Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005, which we all loved playing as kids. However, year two, the gameplay was set to the lowest as it can go. The game was particularly enjoyable but it was difficult to control the car due to massive frame drops. But if you need to play it, you can, of course, on the 8 GB of RAM. The loading time between switching the cars was greatly reduced once again, and even while crashing the car, the frame drops were also a bit less. Our next one is a popular title, CSGO. Yet again, all the graphical settings set to low since we the maximum FPS in competitive games like this one. I couldn't display the on-screen hardware usage because of a steam thing. Instead, I will just use an add-on on the screen FPS to display the FPS, which is quite stable at around 20 to 30 FPS. This is an online match and as you can see, I died due to a massive frame drop. Particularly, I wouldn't recommend on 4 gigs of RAM and low level hardware. Whereas on the 8 gigs of RAM, the game is much more playable and the loading and matching times are also greatly reduced. When I used to play it on 4 gigs of RAM, you should take around 5 to 7 minutes just to enter an online match. Last but not the least, we ran Unigen Heaven and it maxed out at around 10 FPS in the start. But when I started recording, it just jumped down to 3 FPS as you can see here. On the next test, we can see a stable 10 FPS, but yet again, the hardware is the limiting factor. 
the performance will be the same but the time that the test took to start was greatly re reduced once again on Cinebench R22 the test took almost 15 minutes to complete rendering the whole image and scored very poorly at a score of only 300 but the speed was greatly increased with more RAM and the graphical power of this AMD quad core processor also greatly helped on the 8 GB of RAM it took around 10 minutes and the image processing was also a bit smoother and faster with a score of just above 350 anyways guys this has been a great experience to test out our different RAM frequencies and I hope it was fun for you guys too just bear in mind that I had to wait for insane loading times on the 2 by 2 gigs of 1330 megahertz RAM but there won't be any performance difference but it is just that the 8 GB maintained a stable FPS and great for multitasking as well and yes finally I just want to say that always check what kind of RAM you have and then the frequencies usually it is 1330 MHz if you don't want to spend much just go ahead and replace a single stick of the same type of MHz frequency that you have or if you have the money upgrade to a 1600 MHz cause it has surely helped me a lot I can say a performance jump of around 3% and yes, a massive difference of multitasking, whereas before I used to have constant crashes and blue screens. Anyways, so take care guys and be sure to ask any questions if you have in the comment section down below. And peace out.